Okay, today we're going to look at using GeoGebra Classic 6 to draw some points, some lines, and some shapes. Uh, we're going to be working primarily in the 2D graphics or geometry view, which means we don't need this over here. So if you have anything other than the coordinate plane with the grid, we can click on the icon in the upper right of that section, choose the three dots, and uh, usually it'll give us an option to close. So once I get this, I also want to make sure I have the grid on. If it's not visible, if it looks more like uh, this, what I can do is come up and change my view and add that grid in here. So I'm also going to use my middle mouse wheel and hold it down and kind of drag my view so I can see um, from 0 to 10 and 0 up to 9 on the X and Y uh, planes. So I'm going to start with drawing a point. Um, this cursor here just allows me to work with my view here. Um, I can also uh, go over here and choose the point tool. And I'm going to draw a point at 8, 3. So over 8 for an X value, up to 3 for a Y value. And I'm going to draw another point, this time over to 10 for X and 5 for Y. Now, what I want to do is I want to draw a line that passes through both of these points. So I'm going to go with my line tool. And with all the different options, I'm going to choose uh, line. And I'm going to click on both of my points to draw the line. Uh, a simple and real easy task if you know the coordinates that you want to draw the lines through. Now let's say I want to draw a line that is positioned in relationship to another line. So it's parallel or perpendicular. I can come up to this icon right next to the line tool and choose perpendicular line. And I want to draw perpendicular to my original line, so I'm going to click the line first that selects the line. Then I can move anywhere along here, and uh, that'll create a point wherever I click. So I'm just going to go right here in the middle at a, a value x9 and y is 4. And I've now created a perpendicular line. Okay, so those are points and lines, but let's also look at another tool that is the polygon tool. The polygon tool allows me to create a shape um, defined by the points around the shape. So I'm going to choose a basic polygon tool and uh, just for simplicity's sake we're going to draw a square. So I'm going to start with um, X is 5 uh, since I have a line coming through here. X is 5, zero, Y is 0 and uh, let's make my shape uh, a length of 5. So I'm going to come up to 5, 5, over to five, uh, 0, 5, and notice it's already starting to fill in with shading the area. I've now got 0, 0, and it looks like my square is complete, but this bottom line, um, if I come down, notice it starts filling in more. That's because I need to connect it to my original point to finish the shape and that'll complete the square. Now, let's say you want a different color for this. Okay, So I can select my square here, and if I come up to this icon, which allows me to change the view a bit, I can set the color and transparency, and so let's say I go to green, and I want to make it a little bit uh, less see-through, so I can change the transparency here. I can go all the way, but Let's go to about 50. And so I have a little bit deeper shade of green, a little less transparent. And I'm going to be happy with that for now. I also want to look at this tool because with dealing with basic shapes, let's also look at a circle here. So I'm going to draw a circle um, with a center point and a defined uh, radius. So I'm going to choose that option, and let's say we'll go to um, coordinates 2, 2. 
and I'm going to click to draw the center point and now it wants to know how big of a circle radius wise I want to draw so I'm going to do a radius of 1 and enter and as you can see I now have uh, a defined 1 radius circle here or uh, 2 diameter circle uh, centered on points 2 and 2 so those are some basic tools to use uh, let's say I want to save my work whatever I'm uh, doing at any given time. I'm going to come up here to the corner where the three lines and I'm going to choose file save. So it's going to pull up a window and ask me to log in. Now, I don't have to log in. The login is just uh, saves the files online. Since I don't care I can just save it to my computer. I'm going to scroll down and choose continue without saving or without signing in. Uh, let's give it a name. Let's say my first challenge with underscore my name and hit save. And it wants to know where to save it. Um, I'm going to create a folder in my documents for GeoGebra and save it there. And there we go. Uh, my work is now saved. Um, in case I ever want to come back and work with it again. And that is how we work with some basic shapes in GeoGebra.